Now for us, you may be wondering how to measure the salinity or specific gravity of the seawater in your nano lagoon. These are important parameters that you need to know about. What we have here is a little device called a hydrometer. It's just a little plastic chamber with a, um, an indicator on a swing arm and I'm pushing it here with a piece of wire and what that does is point to a scale actually there are two scales one measures specific gravity and the other measures salinity which is a related parameter and essentially they refer to the amount of salt that is dissolved in the water and needless to say we want to keep this as constant as we can. Now when we talk about specific gravity the appropriate level for a reef tank is about 1.024. 1.024 is the golden mean. When we're talking about salinity it's about 33 parts per thousand. So that's what we aim for. Plus or minus about one part per thousand and on the specific gravity scale you can go from about 1.022 to 1.025 or 1.026 thereabouts. Anyway, when you mix your instant ocean what we would recommend is getting a hold of a hydrometer. This one was about nine dollars at Walmart and first put some tap water into it follow the instructions very important to get the air bubbles off this swing arm and we have fashioned a little piece of stiff wire just a little piece of brass wire and you can give that swing arm a good wrap until you're sure all the bubbles are off now when you have tap water in there it should go right down to the bottom it should read zero salinity and your specific gravity should be one. Then you go ahead and put in seawater from your nano lagoon and it should read about 33 parts per thousand salinity or 1.024 units of specific gravity. Now over time as we have pointed out water in your nano lagoon will evaporate Fresh water is leaving the system as a vapor. The salts stay behind. If you do nothing, the water level in the tank will drop below where you started, which was at the top of this little digital thermometer. Water level will go down and the specific gravity and salinity will get higher. Remember, we're replacing evaporated water with fresh water. That's very important. If you ever find that your salinity and specific gravity are too low, the way to handle that is to use seawater for your makeup water. In other words, let's say today four ounces of water evaporated for, from the tank and my salinity was a little bit low. Let's say it got down to 32 parts per thousand. Well, I would add seawater to the tank over the next few days and measure my salinity and my specific gravity just to watch it climb up to where it should be. And that's really all there is to that. When we discuss temperature, there are lots of opinions on how this should be done. To keep things simple, we're going to recommend that your mean temperature, that means your average temperature in your nano lagoon, should be about 75 degrees. That's about 23 and a half centigrade. It can go from around 70 to about 80 without damaging the animals that you're going to have in the tank. So 75 is good. 70 to 80 is okay. And we're going to recommend that you just go for room temperature in your house, hoping that you don't allow your house to get too cold in the wintertime. Now right here where I'm sitting, uh, at night the temperature goes down to about 68. 
Fahrenheit, which is about 20 centigrade. And in the daytime, right now, it's up to 80 Fahrenheit. It even gets up to 82, no problem. The organisms in your Nano Lagoon will have a wide temperature tolerance. But try to shoot for 75 as the average temperature.